Uh, I ain't ducking no action. What's up? You chilling on? I'm ducking no action. In the end, I ain't gonna leave. Huh? I'm blood in the hood by myself. So where you niggas at? On stop six. You doing all this hot capping. Where y'all at, nigga? I'm blood. I'm in the hood by myself. On stop six. Pop out. I don't need no big homies to protect me. You scary as a. On blood. I don't need no big homies to protect me, man. Where y'all at, man? Huh? Where y'all at? I'm stop six. I'm tired. I'm tired of playing with you. Niggas. On blood. You niggas gonna have to come scratch me. On God. Where is you at, boo? Got it, nigga, on Jesus Christ. I'm stretch, nigga. On blood game. Come. Yeah, just like that. Y'all see where I'm at, nigga. On blood. I ain't nobody in the car with me. Yeah. On blood. I'm in the hood by myself. Come on with that. Come on with that. Let's get that. On blood, I still got my little corn roll. On stop six. Watch that. I'm here, Hey, take Pee Wee to the doctor. Give me that. Give me that. Babe, what the fuck you talking about? This video don't surprise me at all because I see the same thing happen over and over again. A rapper reach a certain level of success, a rapper reach a certain level of name recognition, and instead of getting away from the hood, instead of getting away from the ignorance, he wants to relish in it. Nothing excites this rapper more than going back to the hood, cutting on Instagram live and saying, yeah, yeah, I'm in the hood. They say, I can't come back to my old hood. I'm in the hood. I'm posted with the goons. And he's not even watching his surroundings. He too busy trying to run his mouth in the goddamn camera. Then shots go off and now he's running. The hood don't love you. Street cred is non-existent. Let me tell you rappers something. Street cred is not real. It's all in your head. Let me show you how street cred is. Street cred don't even travel with you. You can get street cred in one neighborhood and go two blocks down and your street cred is zero. It means nothing. Your name, your face card don't mean shit. And you're a lick in the hood. The hood wants nothing more than to see you fail. They want to take your chain. They want to whoop your ass on camera. They want to cut you in the face. They want to fuck your girl. They want to fuck your baby mama. They want to kidnap your kids. All that. The hood don't love you. So why do you up and coming rappers keep going back to the hood? Can't leave the hood alone. You guys should get far away from the hood. You guys should focus on raising your family, taking care of your kids, putting your mom in the house, putting your dad in the house, taking care of all your loved ones. Leave the hood alone. Fuck the hood. Fuck where you grew up at. That's what you new rappers should be saying. Once you become 18, you become a grown ass man. You don't have time to represent a stop sign. You don't have time to represent a boulevard. None of that shit matters in the real world. That shit for juveniles. That shit for childish banter. Oh yeah, I'm from this side. You from that side. Grown ass men banging sides. You know what? I'm a grown ass man. I'm from the hood, but fuck my hood. I got to take care of my family. And I want you rappers to have that same mindset. Your street cred don't matter. You don't have to prove yourself to nobody. And quit going to the hood, getting on Instagram live, running your damn mouth and getting clapped and then running. If you go back to the hood, have your head on a swivel at least. Be, be looking out for your surroundings. Because you never know what could happen in the hood. You're a lick. You're an honor killing. The hood wants nothing more than see you put down. And you know that. The hood don't love anybody. You get seriously hurt. Or even worse, you get killed. The hood gonna talk about you for a few days, and then they just go about their lives. Business as usual. Oh, he was a real nigga, but I'm sorry he had to go out like that. Hug your mama for a few hours at your funeral, and then never see your mama again. So yeah, I want these up-and-coming rappers. Once you leave your hood, leave for good. You don't have to prove anything to nobody. You don't have to prove anything to the fans. You don't have to prove to the fans that you're still in the hood. They said, I couldn't come back. I'm back. What's up? Pop out. No. You don't have to do that. You're in a position to success. You're in a position of wealth. And little CJ Casino, he's a good rapper. I like his music. I feel like he got a bright future in this rap game. Can he have to do this? But sometimes peer pressure. Sometimes wanting that street cred. Sometimes wanting that um, face card. Wanting your name to hold value to low lives in the hood matter to some people. Give a fuck what a low life think about me. And you shouldn't either. So yeah, man. That's how I feel about Lil CJ Casino getting shot out, shot at because he went back to the hood on Instagram Live. 
Make sure you share this video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. This is Cut to the Chase TV. I love you guys. Peace. I stumbled over there. But this is Cut to the Chase TV. I love you guys. Peace. <laughs>